Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mods installed. I'm your host, Color Spade. It's episode 14. And we can now do Smithing. Actually, I'm gonna put some points in the magic. We can now smith dwar dwarven smithing. And we have a lot of materials to do it with, so here we go. Dwarven bows. Oh man, we can make so many of these, it's, it's gonna be silly. Myself up to 40. <laughs> and then it, where, did, where did he go? Where did Bear in? Bear in, where are you going? Is he walking around on this side for some reason? Hey, hey, hey. You, 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 you. Come here. Hermir, looking to protect yourself? Okay, so let's damage. spend some money. I want his ingots. His ore, his silver ore. And now we're going to sell him bows. This is. This is where it gets a little... If you sell these one at a time, each one helps your speech skill, but I never really use my speech skill in this game, so I'm not really concerned about doing it. I'm more concerned with... His gold is 1430, so we're going to go down here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to sell that many bows to him. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade... We're gonna sell some to Niranye. I don't haggle. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, you can call them treasures. I'm gonna take all her gold too. Thank uh, you do, for your hold on. Before we do more. any more of that, take a look. Do you have? You have common soul gem. And you have a grand soul gem. With a grand in it. It's what? It's me, Nerani. You don't have any. You've got iron ore though. Okay, that's it. That's all you got. Do you have anything? Oh, these are all things I already sold to her. So. Sell you one more door and bow then. I uh, know I won't. Let's go I'll see, see about Bear End. So did fruits and vegetables. All delicious and affordable. With my soul, the finest weapons and armor. Okay, you have a bunch. I'll take your gold ingot off your hand and the silver one. I'll take all these off your hands. Uh, I should just buy them all. And then I can sell you. I can make a few more bows. If you meet anyone in your travels who needs good steel, send them I can my sell way. a few more bows because I can make a few more. That is awesome. Alright, where are you at, Baron? There you are. Yes? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Now what I want to do. Here we go. Ha! Okay. Is there anything in here that I can make? It's really awesome. Eastern Dwemer longsword, that's nice. The Guardian's Longsword, that's not really my thing. The Great Rider's Blade, I really like that one a lot. That's really cool. I need steel, corundium, and leather straps. Steel, corundium, and leather straps. What else do we have? The Steel Great Sword is a default of 46 damage. Mighty Steel Great Sword is 49. What did I say this was? 46. This is 49. It's got an axe icon, which is wrong, but that's still it. The hollowed blade. No, that's a single-handed. 
That's a two-hander, but it's 46. Great Rider's Blade is 49. I like that a lot. Let's make that. Great Rider's Blade. I need two steel and two corundium ingots. Okay. Two steel. Where'd you run off to, Baron? Leave your apprentice back here, and then you wander around to do something else. Oh, and Gull, give me stuff. Two steel, two corundium. Oh, and I'm going to want, um... Let's see. I'm going to buy one more corundium in case that's what it takes to improve the weapon, and I'll buy the other steel one, just in case. Whether it's armor you need or a new have the leather. Come see me. I'm at your command. Give me the leather. Leather strips. Give me an ice wolf pelt. And a couple goat hides, just in case I need more. Lead on. No, me first. Leather strips, thank you. I think this will get it done. Where is that thing? Great Rider's Blade. Sweetness. Okay. Um, before we do that, do I have a potion of blacksmithing? No. Can I go make one? I might be able to. Let's go find out. You need anything, huh? I'm his resource. Let me know if you see anything you like. I said last episode I wasn't going to make any more alchemy, but I am. So put the circlet back on. Put the gauntlets back on. And let's go for fortify smithing, which My requires blister wart. I've learned so much from him. And a glowing mushroom. Right there. Hey, weapons and armor is 36. I don't appreciate loiterers. Glowing mushroom, That's saber cat tooth, which I don't think I have. And a spriggan sap, which I do have. Well, yay. So there's two of those. 30% better. That's nice. Um, in the past... See, there's a ring of minor smithing. I put the gauntlets on. Where's the necklace I was using? The Galder amulet fragment. No, 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 no. Oh, the helmet. Still. There we go. In the past, what I've done is it, you can enchant several pieces of gear with improved smithing, and it'll do better than any smithing potion you can have. But I'm not far along with enchanting and items yet to make that worthwhile. So, um, actually, I could also improve some of my gear too. Let me see what this is. I want to see what it, this what the sword needs? Great Rider's Blade needs. Oh, it needs two steel ingots. Well, hold on. Give me a corundium ore then. Take a look. This is the corundium ore with the iron ore is how you can make steel. Come see me. Steel ingot. I can make it the, not out of the great right. Can make, there we go. And this silver ingot out of the ore I want to make. And okay, house Carl's great sword. Iron ore, gold ingot, nope, ebony, nope. So what I want to do is, I want to improve this sucker before I enchant it. Ocean, oh, smithy, weapons and armor improved, 30 seconds, 30% 30 better for 30 seconds. Great, Rider's Blade goes from 49 to 61, excellent. Yeah, baby. Reminds me, I don't have a potion for enchanting either, do I? No. Okay. Ah, before the white file closes for the night. Let me know if you see anything you like. Back to alchemy. Alchemy. Let's make some fortify enchanting. Fortify enchanting. Blueberries. I mean, not blueberries. Blue butterfly wings and snow bears. Daddy's gonna get a new weapon. 
which is going to be fantastic. Oh, this is this makes me happy. I don't haggle. I know you don't. Fortify enchanting. Want a lower price? Seven percent stronger. It's not much, but hey. And where is it? A great rider's blade, exquisite. A grand soul gem, shock damage, and then we're gonna rename it to. If you're looking to get a drink, well, let's do this. The storm blade. Yes, sixty-one, and targets take fifteen points of electrical damage. Yes. So almost everything is vulnerable to electrical damage. So there it is, the storm blade. The house Carl's great sword I can give to uh, my lady here. So here we go. Stormblade goes in slot one. You. I've got your back. I am at your command. You get a new weapon. How about this? You can have the House Carl's Greatsword. And what were you using? The Iron Greatsword? We're gonna take that off your hands. Let's go sell the Iron Greatsword to Baron. Need some metal? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I'm gonna sell this to you. The Iron Greatsword. Takes 10 points of frost. That's all done. Armor you need or a new blade. Come see me. Heck yeah. I'm happy about that. Daddy's got a new blade. And it's quite a bit better than the old one. Mmm. That makes me so happy. Okay. So as far, oh, before we go, well, we're, we could get it on the way back. We could, we could trigger this quest on the way back, but here's what I really want to do. We got to get Aventus. Mr. Aventus, Aretino, that Aretino boy. Then it's true, what everyone is saying, that Aventus Aretino is doing the black... Black Sacrament? Yes, it's true. Sacrament? Poor Aventus. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Oh, your prayers are answered now, kid. Oh, you old crone. Go get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. You've come at last. I knew you would. It worked. I knew you'd come. I just knew it. I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. You don't have to say anything. There's no need. You're here, so I know you'll accept my contract. My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grella the kind. Human flesh and a human heart. And can I get that? Can't get that, can I? Night shape. Okay. Well, kid, I'll do my very best. What's this? Evan. Cheese. Oh my goodness. Salt pile. Taking all your stuff, dude. Good job, kid. So the thing I absolutely love about Aventus's quest is after you come back and report to him your success. You get a little free travel all the way over within about 100 the to 200 yards to of where you respect. need to be. I mean, you know, it's just awesome. And then you can get over there to Ustin Grav and all those other places right over by Solitude. It's just a, a free trip. But us, right here, 
we're going to head to the College of Winterhold, and I'm really excited about this because this, this gets to show off one of the mods that I really like, called Magical College of Winterhold. It's a very, very neat, very neat quest. I'm going to first eat character cook beef and tomato soup for the road. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Windhelm, my friend. Winterhold, I mean. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Winterhold. This is when travel gets to be a little bit of a pain in the butt because you can get to Winterhold easy enough with a carriage, but getting back is a little bit of a challenge, especially if you want to go through the fort, which I never do because that necromancer up there just respawns and gets tougher and tougher and tougher, so. Alright, this is perfect. 10, 11 p.m. I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. <laughs> what did you do? Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. Experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or if there's anything you need, just let me know. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Hello, my friend. Perfect. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Not likely. Sleep. Sleep is what I need. <laughs> My friend. Sleep. Okay, this is going to be great. In the morning we can go see the college and then we can go through all the... All of the... Uh, stuff you have to go through. <clears throat> My brain's locking up on what you call it. But it's... Uh, Oh, some food. Let's see, bread very stale. Potato soup. Okay, hey, why don't you let me? Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep. I need to use this. So you need to keep walking. Venison chop. Okay, then go roast. Potato soup. A little water. Oh, I should probably have him fill this before we go. After, if you're business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's, of course. There we go. Excellent. Good day. Let's take off. Let's go join the college. Your fancy magic someplace else. They need to keep making silver. That's the funny thing, these guys make these comments like this, and this is the college. You'd think you guys would be more accepting. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? I see. That power certainly exists, I assure you. Wield it faithfully, and few can withstand you. It would seem that the College has what you seek. The question now is, what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Excellent. The mage light spell is useful to any mage, not just those specializing in alteration. Can you cast one on the seal on the ground? I look forward to it. The Mage Light Spell. One of my favorite things. I actually need to favorite those. Let's do a quick little issue right here with the Mage Light and Candlelight, in fact. 
Um, candlelight on the right hand, mage on the left hand. Okay, so focus, group that in slot one, hit E, focus, group slot one, hit E, go to the group, hit T to save the equipment state. And I can just go F1. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Excellent, Feraldo. Yeah, I've got mage light and candlelight now, baby. Now we're talking. <laughs> I'm just gonna go on up here without you. Because you're gonna lag behind. This bridge gets a little bit of uh, repair work with Magical College of Winterfell. They, make, they spruce this place up and they make it look more like the Magical College you would expect. Can I make it up here? Probably not. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find that Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Welcome to the College. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. Doubtful. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna have a little alcohol and keep myself warm outside here. Do I have? Yeah, Lord me. Thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the college, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. After I finish showing you the grounds, we can talk. You know, Drevis. They say knowledge is its own reward. Everything's all right. Keep going. Keep going, Mirabelle. I'm right behind you. As Lydia is so famous to say. Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Yes, experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. Missing apprentices going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. After I've increased my alchemy and leveled up yet again. Oh, and what is this? Horror of Kessel Zir. 
a one act play. Well, that's all right. Okay, let's go. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. I thought Tolfdir was just a crazy wizard. <laughs> right? Stand there. Here is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Great. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let it. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Why are my research materials constantly disappearing? Maybe because people are playing tricks on you, and you're kind of annoying. Many important things on your mind. Welcome, welcome, not a month. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's what this lesson is for. Perfect time to try it out. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. All right, where are my ward spells? Lesser ward. Over there, please, just opposite me. Didn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. You have to keep your ward up, or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. And so it begins. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. She's got deadwood and firewood. That's enough to make us a fire. Let's get going then. So that's going to be the most important thing. Believe it or not. I have many important things on my mind. Your yes, yes, yes. Ancano, they do such a good job making you really just dislike Ancano. It's absolutely fabulous. I can't think of anybody I'd 
I would more rather put to the knife than on Kano. So we have about half of a day. We've got about eight hours of daylight here. Oh, Chanting services oh you're Sergius. Are one of the few things that okay. keep us in touch with yeah. the rest of Sky. We'll be back. I was hoping he was Phineas. Oh, this is him. I, if you require assistance with summoning techniques, please let me know. I most certainly do. If you would, please also contain your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronachs roaming their town. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. Take a look. What do you got for me, my friend? Show me the good stuff. Conjure Frost Astronaut. Not so good. It's Conjure Revenant. All right. Reanimate a powerful dead body to fight for you. Yes. Banish Daedra. Not that important. And Conjure Frost Astronaut. I'm going to grab that, even though it's really expensive and I rarely use it. Eh, I'm not going to grab it. I'm going to save my money. Ah, that, yes. The group prior to yours has disappeared entirely. It's possible that there was less than the necessary amount of oversight. That's still being looked into. But we've had no contact with them for quite some time now. Arniel wondered if perhaps they'd somehow managed to get themselves lost in the Outer Realms. But I think that's giving them too much credit. I'm not sure. None of them were working on anything terribly dangerous. As I recall, Yisra was trying to improve flame cloak spells to better work in Skyrim's harsh environment. Elos Tai was practicing illusion spells. She was having trouble with the calm spells, I believe. But only ever worked with skeevers. And then there's Borvir and Rundi. Twins. Though they rarely agreed on anything. Those two boys were obsessed with mead. Convinced they could concoct something to compete with hunting brew. Something about using frost magic to chill the mead for a certain period of time. <laughs> I felt it was a waste. But the Archmage let them proceed. All right. Oh. I'll teach you some of what I know, but be careful. It's a it's sixteen seventy to train it right now. Mm. Forget it. Uh, until next time. Oh, and that reminds me, he gave me the book, Spell Tome Remnant. All right. And what do I have for conjuration anyway? Yeah, let's add a little bit more. I need about two hundred magic until. Until I get to the point where things get really cheap. Mystic Binding, Bound Weapons, I'm not worried about that. Adept Conjuration, yeah, let's take that. Which means... What do I have for Conjuration? Reanimate Corpse, that's the Apprentice one. And Revenant is the Adept one. Cost 66. Favorite that, we'll... we'll we need to we need to do our things with that. Conjure oak flesh. It's conjure familiar. Okay, hold on. Revenant. Put that in slot six. Yep, that's the one I want to use. Alrighty. So we have our storm coming in. <laughs> These guys are gonna go to Sarthal. And they're going to walk nice and slow. So I'm going to go do the next and most important thing that I can think of. And that is we have to go get Azura's Star started. Because that is the single best Daedric artifact in the game. And it's not even close. There's not a close second. Lock picking is so easy. Well, that's, some people say the skeleton key is the best. But it, lock picking is so easy and lock picks are so abundant. I absolutely don't see how anybody could think the skeleton key was the best. The, the, the black star is amazing. Oh. Get eaten by a cave bear this time. 
We got our new sword though. And now let's see, can we raise him? Not enough magic, but if we do... Oh yeah, he's ours, baby. That's excellent. Okay. So let's go back to... Let's do this. I really should quick save the... I think I did. I think it's in slot 8, isn't it? I put the torch in slot... I didn't. Let's put it in slot 8. Let's make it easy. Yeah, so for me, Azura Star is the best, cause especially when it's a Black Star, because then when bandits are coming up on you, you can Soul Trap one of them. And with the portable enchanting kit from Frostfall, then you can take take gear that you've been holding on to and enchant it and make it awesome. For instance, my... My, uh... My Breastplate isn't, isn't even enchanted right now. And this Nord, like, this is a perfect example. I would soul trap this person right here. Quit standing up and just attack her, big bear. Oh. Yeah, thruster. Excellent. Oh, just got the harness. Corundium ingot. At a moonstone ore. Oh, just... You want to come with me for a little while? Oh, you're too powerful. Okay. Well, that's alright, because we are in the cold place. This is why it's hard to get from Windhelm, especially um, to Winterhold and back. From, from Winterhold to Windhelm, because there's no cart to take you, but fortunately, I don't know if they thought about this, because Frostall was something that came out as a mod way after the game was released, but thankfully, this particular location, thankfully this exists right here, a place to go get warm, thank you, and then we're going to go up top, Warmth. Oh man, you can just feel it down your bones, can't you? Mm. Very nice. How much more mead do I have? Not a lot. Got another bear to kill on the way up there. But then you get up there and you do a zero star and you hope a dragon doesn't kill you. And then you can actually get to Sarthal on the back side of the mountain. Alright. Let's go. We're fully warm, my dearie. Let's take off and we'll make this happen. It's right up here. Grab those guys. Where is this turkey? I know he's up here because he's always up here. I've never come up here and not seen this stinking bear. There he is. Yep. Where are you, bear? There you go.
Where's the ice wolf? Where's the ice wolf at? I didn't die already, did he? Oh, there you are. Attack! Lay him on. things I thought wasn't I wasn't sure that it was working earlier was I wasn't sure that Frostfall was correctly pausing the cold. While I was out doing battle, but it is. So that's awesome. Alright, you come with me. And the feeling from your drink is worn off. I got two Nord Meads left. Alcohol. Hmm. I'd like to stop and get that, but the weather's gonna change the situation here. Yeah, she's up here. This is great getting started, though. Yeah, I hear you. Leave me alone. He's there every time. Ready to be a right pain in the butt. Of course, you can just run from him, which I might be inclined to do. Azura has seen your coming, Traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar, long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Alrighty. That's the important thing. Find the elven mage. In Winterhold, we know who that is. That's Nelakar. We already met him. So now we're going to go as far as we can go and not get eaten by this dragon. Oh my goodness, this is a hell of a storm. Kill this thing, where is it? Where'd it go? Alright. There are bears on the way here, and the dragon, and more bears. It's a a little bit of a task to get down here this way, but yeah, and then you start freezing like this. Oh, I'm really cold, aren't I? Okay, we're going to have to take a detour. We're going to have to take a detour. I don't like to make detours. Sightless pit discovered. We don't have to take it. Yeah, we're not going in there. That's a one-way trip. But I'll tell you what we can do. Let's, uh... Let's build the campfire here. Can we get it in there? I 
this place there. Hey, there you are. Come here. I've I need your that. stuff. How can I serve you, my thing? I want your firewood. Your dead wood. Oh, and I need your kindling. I'll head back home. No, 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 no. What do you need, my thing? Follow me, need help. Thank lead you. The way. I've got your back. Yeah, I don't want I you to go anywhere. Need. I want that kindling, though. Lead yeah, on. definitely don't go home. All right. Build fire, add fuel, kindling. Yes. Uh, let's use the hanging moss or the linen wraps. We got linen wraps. Let's use those. Build fire, strike stone. Let's try to keep ourselves from freezing here. Uh oh. Unable to go on, you collapse on the cold air. Hours pass, and suddenly you awaken in the sounds of a tavern with your companion Welcome. standing nearby. Let me know if you want. So I couldn't make I it. I got a clean mug well. around here somewhere. That's too bad. Darn it. <laughs> Son of a buck. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, we're back here. All right. Darn, I was so close. But if we'd have dropped down in the sightless pit, we'd have made it. Oh well, bread very stale. The goat roast slightly stale. And a soup. Well, we'll get warm and head out this way then. Jeez, <laughs> that's one of the things that you can do uh, with that mod with Frostfall is you can set it up to where when you freeze to death, you either die or you can set up to where your companion, if you have one, will drag you somewhere, which she just did. And I'm incredibly thankful for. Is there a... There's not an alchemy... In here, is there? No. Okay. What do I have for disease? Frostbite. It's four minutes and five seconds. Oh, oh and then I have stomach rot. Eating, drinking. I oh, wonder how long that's going to stick around. All right, well, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. I want some booze. My days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Let's sate that appetite, huh? I want booze. What do you got? Nord need honeymoon. I might as All well right. talk to Nellicar while I'm here then and save myself some trouble. Need something? Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. You're working with the Daedra? Right. Now tell me the one about the Argonian Maid and the Lusty Baron. A few coins for my soul. If only you understood the irony. What do you know about soul gems? They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail, except for one. Azura's Star, a Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Ilan Alta's deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. Until next time. That's the funniest part of that whole thing is, is he says, don't take it back to the Daedra. But if you bring it back to him, you get the black star. If you take it to the Daedra, you get the white one. It almost seems like it should be reversed, but don't care how many colleges they have, how much 7 p.m. Oh man, can we get there? Right, let's try. Hey, I'm gonna see if I can get there with all of this. Stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can tell. This is the problem, is doing this at dark. At night, it gets dark and it gets colder. My character has frostbite, which is going to last for a little while longer, so... And there are usually creatures up here you have to fight. Going this way. So... Oh my goodness, it's a blizzard. Uh-oh. What do we have over here? Who's fighting who? Ice ray. Oh, no. Get get done with that. Let's kill these things. I don't want to die. What do you come on? Do your magic, darling. Oh, I'm about to bite. I'm about to bite it. Oh, fortify health. Let's do some other stuff here. Tell you what, this is all a really bad idea. Let's see if I, is that somebody over there? Okay, one of them died. But it's close to dying. Okay, there goes one. Hey, who's shooting me? Damn. Oh my gosh, I died. Oh, that stinks. Alright. That killed me so fast. I got an idea. Whatever they're doing over there, he's fighting that thing. It's somebody with the bow and arrow. He's fighting that. Uh oh. And now... I'm seeing. Who's shooting at me? Oh no, and now there's a bear? Oh no, 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 no. Right. If I can get to the mages. Yeah, Sarthal discovered. Okay, this is the way we do it here. That's the way you do it. Play the guitar on the MTV. That ain't working. Snow bear. Who's killing the snow bear? Okay, you guys. Twelfth year. And here we all are. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. I'm gonna go in guns blazing, man. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, Sartho. No bears behind us? This is when Frostfall makes things just a little bit, a little bit more difficult. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, shoot! Grab those. Fun. I love this place. 
Okay. You know there might well, be gold somewhere. Are there any questions before we begin? Ah yes. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Now let's see. All right. We have the rest of you do? This is where we're going to stop this episode. Actually, I'm going to grab this iron ore real quick. Because <laughs> I can't help myself and it might have a gem. Uh, but anyway, folks, this is going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, if you guys have a question or a comment, drop it down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like the channel, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.